Kansas State 10, Iowa State 9. And who would have thought that the game-winning touchdown would be scored with 12 minutes and 30-something seconds left in the first quarter? Uh, Kansas State at, at close was only favored by one. For most of the week, they were favored by two, uh, two and a half at some points. But a lot of money came in late on Iowa State. Uh, look, Kansas State won the yardage, 388 to, eh, here, let's pull it up on the screen so that you guys can actually see the stats. Uh, do, 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 and it is taking its sweet time. I'll go on and keep reading. Uh, yards per play, 6.7 to 4.5. They won yardage, 388 to 276. And there we go. We got it. Uh, they won rushing, 131 to 78. They won drive points, 7 to 6. I mean, just like, what is happening? Iowa State won third downs 33 to 31%. They won turnovers one to nothing, uh, but they did have a fourth down failure, so I guess those kind of evened out. Kansas State missed a 33-yard field goal try. Uh, they, you look at these numbers, and Kansas State was actually more dominant than what the score led on. Uh, there was a freak play, and I, I'm sure that some of you saw it, where Kansas State had an explosive play, and they were running the ball into the end zone, and the Iowa State defender made maybe the most beautiful attack on a football I have ever seen because he knew he wasn't getting the receiver down, but he grabs the guy or comes up from behind him, grabs him with one shoulder, and punts the ball with his fist out from behind at the one-yard line. The thing bounces into the end zone, gets recovered by uh, some of the other defensive backs for Iowa State. I mean, that, that thing would have put that game away if he had scored that. So that that would have been the cover. Um, but that's something that you got to look into if you're Kansas State is if the only way that you can score is explosive plays against some of these defenses like Iowa State. And, and don't get me wrong, Iowa State has a fantastic defense. But are they that good of a defense? Like, is, is that, you know, you're going to run into some other interesting teams in this conference. Uh, you you. It's not that Adrian Martinez played poorly. I mean, he had 19 carries, 77 yards. Deuce Vaughn only had 10 carries in this game and only had two catches. Um, and I don't know if he ended up injured. I mean, th this game was going on while a lot else was happening. So if somebody knows, let me know. But uh, only two catches for 14 yards and 10 carries for 23 yards. I, I think you need Deuce Vaughn to do more than that. Unless Iowa State just bottled him up. Uh, Adrian Martinez was 12 out of 19 passing, 246 yards, one touchdown. So, really no major issues there. He had 19 carries for 77 yards. Um, I I like Kansas State. I don't know if you guys saw this. Chris Kleiman was hugging the AD after the game, and it was it looked like a super emotional moment. Kansas State is now 3-0 and in the Big 12. I mean, they are, they are good. This is a good football team, and I am... I'm not shocked by it. Uh, it's just a little more shocking that they lost to Tulane right before Big 12 play began. Right? Like, that's this team is, they are so pencil thin on the margins that if it, they could, they could have easily lost any of these games that they've played. Like, it's, they, they have to be perfect almost to get the win. And when you look at, like, the total number of plays in the game and, and all that, it, I mean, they, they were in 58 offensive plays. Like, I, I thought by bringing in Colin Klein as the offense coordinator, they were supposed to play faster. Like, I thought there was going to be more opportunities. But, obviously, I've been wrong. Uh, and I will be wrong going forward, which is okay. I just, I can't figure this team out. Like, are they dominant or are they not? Because if you're dominant, you're supposed to be able to, like, own teams. You're supposed to be able to dominate teams. And... I mean, Kansas State, like the only touchdown that we had in this game, which is, is good for the defense, for sure, but the only touchdown in this game was early on like an explosive pass. <laughs> Just, I can't, I can't figure them out. Uh, the win probability went, yeah, Holy South said they looked past Tulane. Yeah, that's the thing, is, okay, if you can look past a team like Tulane and end up getting beat, like you can do that multiple other times. You, you should be able to win a game like that even if you are looking past them. So that's what I'm trying to figure out is, like, how good is Kansas State? Like, are they Big 12 championship good? Or are they just, you know, go to a pretty good bowl game? Good. 
JJ said if Ohio State looks good going into November, they have a good chance. Yeah, no, no, you're you're right about that. We'll we'll hit Ohio State here in just a little bit. But Kansas State, this ain't a national championship team, but this is a team that I, I look at it and I don't know. I just I, I don't think they're great, but I don't think they're terrible either. So I'm I'm very curious about this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.